Every day, we have hundreds of thoughts, ideas, to dos, random sparks of inspiration. The problem? They end up scattered across sticky notes, apps, our brains, or completely forgotten. But what if an AI could catch every thought and instantly sort it into the right category? Tasks, reflections, or even backburner ideas automatically. Well, in this video, I'll show you how to view exactly that an AI powered thought organizer using NAN. By the end of this video, you will have a system where you can drop in any messy thought and AI will neatly file it away for you. Let's dive in. So in order to start a NAN workflow, you first need to create an NAN account. You just go to nan.io and click on get started and you can get a free trial. Alternatively, if you're interested in self-hosting and building workflows unlimited for free, you can check out my video here to learn how to set it up step by step. Okay, so here is a preview of what we're going to build today. So in this workflow, we're going to have a Telegram trigger where we can just enter text messages using Telegram on your phone or on your desktop and share your thoughts messy reflections or whatever and then it will fade into an AI agent. After that, we're going to have a JavaScript parser to help us update the thoughts into the right categories in a Google spreadsheet and then it will send us a confirmation message back to the Telegram chat so we know the process is complete and successful. Now. Let's view this workflow step by step. So when you first open NAN, you can click here to create a new workflow and then you will be greeted with this interface. So the first step is a trigger. Let's just click on the plus sign and let's find Telegram. Select Telegram here. So in this case, we want it to be triggered every time it's received a message from us. So select all message. And now here, we'll need to create a credential to connect with our Telegram account. Let's create a new one together. Click on create new credential. And you see that here we need to get an access token. So actually in the end does a great job at teaching us how to do everything. And you see here, click on open docs. It tells us exactly how to get a telegram bot. All right, let's do it. And we can open this here. We need to find bot fodder. Click on start. Let's just enter slash new bot to create a new one. Let's just say thought categorizer. All right, and after that, we need to give it an ID that must end with bot. Let's just say thought categorizer YouTube test and then bot. This is invalid. Okay, um, NAN test YouTube bot. Okay, so maybe I'm not allowed to use YouTube. Let's just do NAN test to bot still invalid maybe i should use underscore test bot okay all right so mystery solved i should not use hyphen in the bot username the underscore actually worked great and now we have a token so we're just going to copy this by clicking on it go back to the workflow and paste in access token and save it and it says credential successfully created perfect let's try execute a step and is listening for our test let's say let's first click on a new bot and start oh as you can tell the first message is automatically sent with slash start so the workflow already saw this one let's actually test again by click on execute step again so he's listening and let's try a test message today's a very sunny day let's see Okay, cool, here, output. You see, today is a very sunny day, clearly successfully logged. Okay, let's close this one. The first trigger is completed. Then we can move on to the second node where we want the AI agent. Let's just select AI and AI agent here. And now really importantly, we need to give it a chat model. So click on plus chat model. I'm gonna use open AI. Now here, we need to set up a credential. Just 
and enter your OpenAI API key. Now you are welcome to use other large language models such as Cloud or Gemini. Just get the API key and enter here. It's very straightforward. Here I'm just going to use the OpenAI API I already set up and a model I'm just going to keep GPT 4.1 mini here. So the task I'm asking AI to do is not too challenging. So 4.1 mini should suffice and it's cost effective. Okay, so here's something slightly counterintuitive. For this type of workflows, we actually don't need to add a memory or tool to minimize chance of hallucination. You see why. And now let's go back to the AI agent connected chat trigger node. Here, we're going to select define below. So then we can enter our prompt. Okay, so I wanted to test a very messy input and to say if our AI agent can successfully categorize these input texts. So here, I should call John about a project deadline. I just had an idea to make a video tutorial on AI workflows, feeling a bit stressed and blah, blah, blah. So pretty much every single sentence is a completely different thing. And if the AI agent is set up successfully, each sentence will be categorized into a distinct category. So I have already run this and let's see, the telegram trigger has already received this. And then in the AI agent note, if we click on table, uh, yeah, one action, idea, reflection, emotion, knowledge, future someday decision <laughs> observation. I was really giving the AI agent a hard time, but it did a great job. And notice that it noted now in categories, it did not find a match. So this is really important. I wanted to show you the prompt I used, All right? Let's see, you are an assistant that classifies short free from thoughts. And then here I just dragged over text to here. So it knows where it should read the entry text. And available categories, obviously I give all the nine different categories and explanations to the agent. And I delineated the rules, respond only in valid JSON. And this is super important, always I'll put all nine categories in a response. So even if it is just a one sentence input, I want one picked category and eight others have not associated with them. So if the input contains multiple distinct thoughts, separate them and classify each one. If the input is a single thought, classify it normally. Assign a thought text to the matching category or no, if no match. You got the idea. And I give it an example output format and also example input and output, three pairs. So it has a better idea. Then I ran execute stab and I saw this. So I know that this prompt is successful. So in the very first try, I didn't specify that I need all output. So just output all nine categories to me, even if there's no match. And this is super important for us to set up the spreadsheet match in the next round. And right after the AI agent node, we added a code node and click on it. So I asked, ChatGPT to write me a JavaScript JSON parser. And the prompt is just, you know, you wanted to copy over the output and just tell ChatGPT that please write me a JavaScript JSON parser so that the output from AI agent can be in visual properties separated. And then I tested it. He did give me the nine individual properties separated so that I can use them to match the corresponding column in the Google spreadsheet next. Okay. And I wanted to pin the data. So we're almost there. Okay. Let's find Google sheet. I already have a spreadsheet. I wanted to just a pen or update row in sheet. You should have already set up the Google Sheet account API. If you're not sure how to do this, you can click on new credentials and click on open docs and you can just follow the procedures step by step. It's not challenging, but it does take some time. So patience is needed. But once you set it up, you don't need to worry about it ever. So here I'm just going to use Google Sheet account, sheet within document exactly, and append update row. This is the operation we selected from list. Just find the spreadsheet you want to use. So in my case, it's called thought organizer and sheet is just sheet number one. Yes. And here 
we do want to select map each column manually and you see why column to match on this is like a unique id for your columns so here i'm going to use the date time column because that's going to be the unique id for the spreadsheet let's go back to the spreadsheet I have these nine categories plus the date time column and the original text column because I do want to capture the original input just in case I do want to review exactly what I said so I can have something to refer back to. So for the 11 columns, let's go back to the workflow and date time, I'm going to look at variables and context and use the null variable. So I'm just going to drag now here all right so each entry will be matched to a unique specific timing here and action here here's really simple you will see why i stressed that we need all nine categories output regardless of the tax volume now here we can just drag action to action and just just map the categories to matching column titles it's going to take some time and you only need to do this one time and then you'll be all good to go. Okay, so original text, go to telegram trigger and put drag text input here to original text. Okay, this is the most amount of work we need to do in the process of building this NAM workflow. Okay, if you're still watching this video, kudos to you. Execute step. Oh, it looks perfect. And we should check out the actual spreadsheet. Et voila, perfect. Let's also paint the data for the next step. So we are almost done. The last step is just I need a confirmation message sent to my Telegram chat so I know this process has gone through successfully. Okay, let's do Telegram again. The very last node. Exciting. We want to select send a text message here and use the Telegram account we just set up. In this case, it's same one. So the same one. Um, chat ID. So this is the most tricky part in this entire tutorial. And I wasted at least two hours trying to find the answer to this. And the best way is this. So if we go back to bot fodder, you will see this is the token, which is not the chat ID, but we're going to use this. And the best way is in your browser. So enter something like this, HTTPS API.telegram.org slash bot and replace your bot token with the actual token and slash get updates. Okay. I'm going to put this in the description box below so you don't have to worry about it. Here, I'm gonna copy this bot token and then replace your bot token here with that. Then enter, okay. And here, let's find chat ID. So I had some recent chats. See here, chat, and then immediately after that, ID, which is this. And just copy this over, go back to NAN and enter chat ID. And so here's just a confirmation message you want. You could say successful and let's try execute. Awesome. It says node executed successfully. Let's go to telegram. Yes. Look successful. And what if I don't want this? This message was sent automatically with NAN. This is very important. Come back to the workflow in the telegram node here. At field, we have to click on a pen in an attribution. I know it's counterintuitive and then turn it off. That's the way to get rid of that message. And let's execute again. Successful. Let's go back to Telegram. See, this time is only successful. And let's absolutely click on save. As a matter of fact, you should click on this button a lot in the process of building this workflow. And after we have done everything, we can just go here and turn this workflow to be active. So now let's test another entry to make sure our workflow is actually working great. Let's open Telegram. So I asked ChatGPT to come up with another messy entry. So here it is. Well, you can see it's quite messy. And let's click on enter. So 
In real case scenario, we should be holding our phone and enter our thoughts into this Telegram app and we should wait for a little bit and then it will return successful and then we know everything is locked successfully. After a few seconds, we got it and let's actually go back to the spreadsheet. So yes, indeed it's been categorized successfully. And one thing I should emphasize is remember that in the editing process, we pinned a lot of the inputs and outputs in the actual workflow. We should unpin all of those. So, okay, this is today's tutorial. It took some while. And if you have any questions creating this workflow, please leave me questions in the comment section below. Also tell me what else do you want to see? What kind of workflows help you most? See you next time.